Hi, this is Deadly Cat Queen, and this game is called Veiled. It has been one year since the incident. One endlessly long year looking for the truth. You know your child is alive. All the, the answers must be out there. Out there. Hours pass. You are exhausted. You finally arrive at the location you've been given. Better keep a low profile and go through the woods. You enter the you enter the forest. Ominous twisted trees watch you venture deeper into the woods. Everything looks so quiet here, you shiver. You continue until you reach the house. The property is closed off by a large plate gate. It is too high to climb over. Is your child really here? It is locked by an old rusty chain. It has been it has seen better days. Maybe there is a way to break it. Okay. Among the rusty tools lies a big iron bar. This may be a uh, useful to breach the chain. Break the chain. Well, how do I use it? Oh, take, okay, take the arm bar. Seems sturdy enough. Not very subtle, but you need to get in. You put all your weight on the bar. The chain finally surrenders. The gate opens with a creaking noise. You enter the front yard. This mansion, once opulent, looks rather abandoned. A towering statue seems to watch over the property. Strange, slender, dark silhouettes. They represent a family, but I but their alien look gives me the chills. Okay. You knock repeatedly to the door, but no one answers. Maybe you can find another way in way in. Okay, so I'm gonna look around. Okay, we'll go around the left corner. You walk along an overgrown French garden. There is a shed on the left. The shed is not locked. A thick layer of dust covers everything. Nothing has been touched in a long time. Okay, inspect the bench. A ladder rests on the side of the bench. It could it could be useful to enter the house. Take the letter. It's heavier than it looks. Hopefully you won't have to carry it around too far for too long. Is anything else in here? Search around the clutter. Warped wood planks and broken windows. Nothing useful in there. Okay, anything else? Okay. Now what? Okay, back to the alley. You walk along an overgrown French garden. Okay, I did that one already. Go to the backyard. The path leads to the backyard. A tiled terrace is nest nested at the back of the house. The shutters are not fully closed and the window behind them seems open. If you had a way to get up there, you would, you could sneak inside. You put the ladder against the wall. It is tall enough to reach the window. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else here to do first. No. No, okay, it's gone up. You climb the ladder and, and enter the house. Who's that? As you enter you hear you hear someone rushing through the door below you. Who was he? You run after him. The man has disappeared through the door in front of you. Surely he must know something. You throw yourself at the door in vain. It is desperately shut, but as you inspect it, you find strange, a strange contraption behind it, besides it. 
There is a small box beside the door. This is a high-tech device. Feels out of place here. It's, it seems like some sort of biometric device. Apparently, it needs to be needs to scan at your eye and your finger. Okay. Okay, back to the hall. I'll go back. I'll go upstairs this time. You are in the main hall. You may find you may find some leads on the first floor. What a stark stark contrast. The Persian carpet on the floor feels rather nice, but the ceiling, however, is falling off. The door opens. This bedroom is rather cozy. It seems to have been used recently. The door is the door is jammed. You enter the room. A dirty bathroom. You come closer to the sink. Ew! As you try to repress the a heave, you start to seriously question this place. It's empty of its content. Okay. As gross as touching this eye is, it may work in the in the door scanner. Uh huh. It's still warm. Uh. As you take the eye, you hear a loud rumbling noise coming from behind from the bedroom behind. Back to the bathroom. Okay. What's on the other side? A small storage room. The gentle heat feels comf comforting. The small iron door is locked. Maybe the key is there somewhere. Go back to the bathroom. Back to the, now back to the bedroom. Oh god, what am I going to see? What am I going to see? Oh, what is that? What is that thing? Yeah, that's my question. The stench ex em emanating from it makes me wretch. You get a closer look and notice its surface is slowly pulsing. Oh lord, something is spurting from one of, the, from one of its pores. You step closer to the creature, trying to control your nausea. The hell? You realize it was a key emerging from the goo. Trying not to touch the flesh, you grab the key with the tip of your fingers. You hear a very loud noise. It's waking up. Oh, lovely. It seems to be growing. Oh. It's coming at you. It's growing and moving in a, your direction. You need to act fast. Ah! Back to the bathroom! Rush to the bathroom. Hope he won't follow you there. Okay, key. I'm going to... Go to the door! Go to this door now. You unlock the door with the key found on the creature. No. You lock the door behind you, hoping that it will heap the hideous thing away. Or keep the, keep the hideous thing away. And it's pitch black in there. Now what? What's this? The bright tube lights hurt your eyes. What you discover doesn't make you very hopeful. The skin has shrunk around the skinny bones. It's practically mummified. Okay. The occupant was counting days and many days have passed apparently. Now what? Okay. I don't see anything else to do. Oh, floor. Planks have been torn away. Looks like the person here was making an escape. You can see a room below. Try to break the floor. You start, you start kicking the remaining planks hard. Their moldy remains break easily. You pass your head in the hole and slip. 
you fall hard into an unknown room. The small lounge seems to lead up to a steep staircase. You cautiously start to climb. Start to climb. It's pretty steep. The stairs leads up to the first floor. A long corridor spreads before you. You try to be quiet, but the flooring is squeaky. The corridor turns and opens in, up, up into a larger room. Strange room. It looks like a bedroom, but the main furniture are the main furniture are gone. You approach the closed door. A wooden sli sliding door. A beautiful mur mur mural is painted on the on it. The door seems to be loosely loosely locked from the other side. You can distinguish the silhouette of a simple latch between the, the two doors. Okay. You could probably push it with a thin object. Okay. Examine. It's a large seashell with fragment beads inside. Okay. Okay. Gotta find a thin object. Okay, examine. Examine the shelves. An odd collection of mismatched books and artifacts. You pick up one, but. It can't decipher the language. Okay. Back to the corridor. <clears throat> you slowly push the door and enter the room. It looks like a child's room. A small desk full of toys. Your attention is caught by a toy, a toy cassette player. There is no tape in it. Okay, back to the room. There are frame, there are frames on the wall. A set of former family, family photographs. Quadruplets, how unusual. That's the room. Still have not found a um, thin object. I don't go too far. You notice the lock on the door was on. You unlock it and open the door. It leads back to the hall. Oh, this hall. Okay. You grasp a cold handle. The door seems to weep as you push it open. A classic dining room. The silver has been set and the dinner is ready to be served. But why all this decorum? Was someone expected? Okay, look at the buffet. Expect the table. Only one plate has been served. Ew, French cuisine apparently. Yikes. No thanks. Okay. You take a close look at, at the frames on the buffet. A few family photos are on the t on display. The smile on the man's face makes you uneasy. Smiling kid, pretty uptight. The wedding photo catches your attention. 
a happy couple. It's the same man that the other for in the other photograph, only much younger. Maybe they are your hosts. The frame is missing a glass panel, and that and that's odd. You remove the photo from the frame. You uncover a hidden compartment with a tape in it. You take the tape and inspect it. it to my baby is written on the label. Okay. The, okay, I found the cassette player. Okay, okay, so I have to go. I don't think I go up those stairs. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I go over here. Where was it? Where was that tape player? He goes in here. Yeah. You insert the tape and press play. A lullaby starts playing. Heartbreaking. Okay, so now what? Okay. Open the curtain. I didn't do that. You slowly approach your hand and pull the curtain open. Good lord, the poor child. Quick, you must help him. With difficulty, you walk, you untie the rope on his ankle, but it's too late. Oh. He is dead. Who could have done that? You start to weep thinking about your own lost child. As you reach to close the child's eyes, you notice something in the in his hand. What is it? A card? This is a tarot card. The Hanged Man. How ironic. Is that a sick joke? Yeah, it certainly sounds like one. <clears throat> what is happening? His skin is suddenly very hot. The oh, that blob again. You can't believe what you're, what just happened. Poor kid. It breaks your heart. Okay, now I'm going to try that door with the card. You insert the card between the two doors. You gently push the latch up and slide open the door. You're immediately seized by a strong, acrid smell. The memory of the creature flashes before your eyes, and but you have to press on. Something terrible happened here. You gather your mental strength and slowly peek at the tub. Someone is lying inside the tub, lifeless. Little bits of mold are form floating in the placid blood. Why did she do that? Was it was it happening here? Okay, what's next? Oh, scissors. What are you go what are you going to do with those scissors? You can't believe that you are thinking about this. This house starts away on you. Oh, those scissors can come in handy. And now what? In the reflection, you see something lying in the tub. Yeah, we already know that. Okay, now what? Okay, well, I haven't seen any place else to go. Anywhere else to go. This show. I go back to the corridor. Oh, there's a different... Okay. Now what? 
I do I dare go back in this room? Okay, um, look at the tape player again. The tape player is playing a song, yes? I know. Okay, what's next? Okay. I guess I'll go back downstairs. Oh, the eye! Oh, that's right. I, the eye thing. That's right. The eye is not enough to operate the device. You also need a fingerprint. Okay. What fingerprint? From who? Or, yeah. Okay, have I seen everything in here? Yep. I guess it only leads me to go upstairs again. Up here, oh, this, these stairs. I can't think of anything else to do. You might find some leads on the first floor. God, where's that thing? What a mess. The creature came from here. You would rather not know what's, what is inside. There is no way you're going back there. Okay, well then I gotta go back downstairs again. What am I missing? I'll go upstairs again, I guess. Okay, I am not sure what I'm missing at this point. Oh, uh, though, I just had a really grim idea. You lean closer to the hand. Yeah. The hand of the woman is hanging from the side of the tub. Despite bright red painted nails, the bloated skin is dark and reminds you of the creature. If this hand belongs to the owner, it may work on the electronic lock. If only you had some way to take it with you. Oh my god, yep. The horror of the situations is numbing. The blade cuts through the flesh easily. It feels like there wasn't any solid bones. Now what? You almost scream as the hand retracts and the body disappears inside the tub. You can't see anything through the crimson water. Oh! Ripples suddenly appear and the tentacles run into the tub. Your eyes widen in horror. You need to get out of here fast. Okay, bye-bye. Another tentacle bursts out of the dark swinging erratically. You dodge this one, but you may not be so lucky next time. Back to the bathroom. Go. You stumble back, paralyzed. Bye. Okay, I'm going out of here. Yep, come on. It keeps coming out. Where's it still coming from? Come on, get out of there. You crawl out of the bathroom. Aye! It knows you are here. It's coming after you now. The face back 
you face race back. Yeah, you face back and start to run. Oh, where am I? Where the hell am I? It's still coming. Where the hell am I? Out of breath, he rushed down the stairs. The hell? You throw yourself down, but a tentacle grabs your your feet. You lose balance and rumble tumble down the stairs. You feel dizzy. Stand and run. Tentacles are sliding down and do something. You get back on your feet and run to the lounge. You almost react reach the hall. Tentacles are bursting everywhere. Come on, move! It's getting to the door. The creature covers your only escape. Helpless, you're quickly taken by its slimy embrace. You pray every gun gone down to man, you feel Oh, I gotta try again. How far? Okay, I'm not gonna bother reading it this time. I'm just gonna run. Just gonna do what I gotta do. Come on. I'm gonna not try not look at the tub this time. Do I have a choice? Oh, I don't have a choice. Come on, just go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop the wording. Stop the words. Just go. Come on, just go, just go, just keep going, just keep going. Just go, 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 go. Just go, please just keep, keep going, please keep going, please keep going, please keep going. Please just keep going. I just want to get the hell out of here. Come on. Come on, just click it away. Just, 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 come on, just keep going. Come on. Come on! Oh, okay, maybe go in there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Use the eye and finger. Oh, oh Lord, what are you doing? You press both eye and finger onto the scanner. You squish them hard and you eventually get a reading. The result of using the scanners is a big messy, but it worked. Bit messy, but it worked. You hear the door unlocked. Nothing stands between the man and you now. You dive into the passage just that just opened. Just as you pass the door, it closes behind you. A huge staircase unfolds before you. Go down the stairs. You delve down into the unknown complex. At some point, the stairs ends in a, into a large corridor. There is a single door at the end of which light is coming out of it. You open the door. The light is blinding at first. It's like a hospital. You hear the door lock behind you quickly after you enter. After a few moments, the silence is broken up by a, cracking, a crackling speaker sound. Well, we were waiting for you, sir. Please, make yourself comf comfortable and grab a seat. Okay, look at the chair. Reluctantly, you approach the chair. Let's make a little experiment, exper experiment, you and I, would you? Once seated, you finally get a sight of what is behind the glass. Another dark entity tries to, lies inert in the other room. You don't understand what is expected of you now. After a few moments, of silence, the man's voice booms again. A touching reunion, really. I'd hate to interrupt, but unfortunately we need to go on with the procedure. Would you mind having a closer look at our friend here? Uh, okay. You fight your instinctive disgust and try to focus your attention on the creature before you. Suddenly it starts to move and rise. Its shape looks strangely humanoid now. Almost familiar. You start to cry. Okay, that's enough. We both know what you are seeking here. If I can fulfill your wish, but you need to do one thing for me first. Check the tray on the board, please.
The saturated, the saturated voice is more and more assertive. You can be together again, you know. But before that, I need you to administer your, administrate yourself special treatment. As your will falters, you take the syringe in your hand. You can't stop the tears flowing down your face. What is going to happen if I do that? If you do that? All right, that's a good question. Your mind is broken. There is, a, there is nothing you can do now. You see yourself inserting the needle inside your arm and press the syringe. What now? Uh, suddenly a tide of pain rushed through your whole body. You can't move. You can't breathe. And a nightmarish buzzing sound of fill is filling your ears. As you, as you feel your body stretch and change, everything becomes more and more distant. Even the sound... Even the sound, even the pain is fading out, except for a small a small humming voice. As the suffering slowly fades, you start to remember that voice that you missed for so long now, and that sweet face. Daddy! The end. Veiled. A game made for A G B I C. Something, something. <sighs> Thank you for playing. Okay, so... Did he... Basically, did the, the syringe make him hallucinate his son? I don't know. This was weird. Really, really weird. That's all I have to say. <laughs>